Welcome. Today we'll be modifying the character color files in Persona 4 Arena Ultimax on Steam. You're going to want the GeoArc Sys all in one tool. To decrypt the files that are located in your Persona 4 Arena Ultimax root folder and PAL mod for modifying the colors themselves. Keep in mind I do not know if this guide will work with the Persona 4 Arena Ultimax Fight Club mod. Now, let us start by going to the GeoArxis tool, go to Batch, Crypt, Game, and you're going to want this section open for the majority of your PAL modding process. You're going to want to open your Persona 4 Arena Ultimax tool, and if you haven't already decrypted your files, take Asset, drag it onto Crypt, P4U2.bat, and there should be a command window that appears in your top left. I've already went through this process, so you won't be seeing that in the guide, but I will show you what it should look like in your data folder after, once you've cleared everything out that you don't need. You're going to want character, which will have all your PAL files here, and etc. And this is the only folder the file that you're going to want from this folder. Anything else, feel free to delete. And of course, if you ever need a file again, you can always re-decrypt all your files from your asset folder. This right here determines what will appear on the character select screen, so it's very important that you have this as well. With all that said and done, let's open PalMod. Once PalMod is open, click File in the right box, go to Load Directory, Persona 4 Arena, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax Steam. Your P4U2 folder should be located in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common. Scroll down. P4U2, and you're just going to want to click Asset. This is where your data is located. You do not need to click Data, just Asset. And click OK. Once done correctly, IGIS should appear in the left screen here. And you should have free reign on accessing all of each character's colors, accessing the colors I mentioned, their personas, and their effect files. Now most effects are 3D files that are global to each character, so you won't really be able to modify something like say Unorikami's Zeodyne, but you can modify maybe the sprite for his Zeo here, and some other attacks as well. But besides that, there isn't much you could do with that in terms of effects. You will also have a uh, You'll notice there it says character select, and this will also be need to be modified the same way you modify your character itself if you want them to appear correctly on the character select screen. I've done a lot of modifications myself, but we'll do something very simple to you so we know that this worked. We're going to change his hair. to gray. If you need help finding where something is located here, go to your preview window, right click and click find this color in palette. Most palette colors come in fours or fives or threes. The only time you'll really see a five is if something has a shine on it and the only time you'll see a three is if it is an extremely important detail. Like for example, the used color is a, comes in a three while his hair comes in a four. Go to click file in your preview window, export image, and it should display the sprite. Now click save. Feel free to name it anything you want. And it should appear on your desktop or wherever you click to save it. This index image stores the information for your palette. This lets you easily share with anyone online. It also makes it easier so when you need to copy and paste your character to your character select file, you can just take the image and throw it in, and there you go. Make sure you save, go ahead and close the program. Once you're done modifying your palettes, go to Asset, Data, Take Character, drag it into the Arxis tool that we use to decrypt folders, and it will re-encrypt files. Do the same to the etc. And you should have this kind of garbled numbers and text. 
actually have the same here as well. I'll have to extract that. And you'll have to do what I'm doing now. I'm just doing this to showcase that you should have 23 items in total. You're going to want to take that to your asset, paste it. If you did it right, it'll ask you to replace files. With all that done, let us see if the modifications have appeared in game. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Lend me your strength. Picture in your head your own appearance as well as your alter ego, your persona, very well. <laughs> 